Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do some magical crafting. Stay tuned. So as you guys know, we have been crafting with copier paper and we have been using it to make some really creative and fun projects. And today is no different. We made this wonderful, wonderful gift bag using copier paper. Today, we are going to make a little treat that will go inside of this bag. And here it is. We are going to make this absolutely fabulous gift wallet designed to go in this bag so that if you choose to give this bag as a gift and you choose to give someone cash or a gift card or you just want to tuck a card inside, you have got a beautifully coordinated wallet to go along with it. And I am going to open it up so that you guys can see what the inside looks like. And isn't that just pretty? We've got the polka dots all over the inside. And I think that it just looks fabulous. I have placed contact paper over the front so that we'll have a very sturdy little paper wallet to give to someone and then I use my snaps to close it and so when you take your wallet and you place it inside of your gift bag guys you have a beautifully coordinated gift that cost you pennies to make but it is so so posh so to make this we don't need very much in the way of supplies we need a decorative strip and I'm starting with a 2 by 8 strip of pink cardstock then we have two rectangles that measure three and a quarter by two and I have my decorative paper that I have trimmed down to size and it measures seven and a half across by 11 inches long and then I also have the back just splattered with polka dots so all I did to get this look was of course I printed that floral image that we used the other day. Put that same piece of paper back in the copier and used that same paper to then print on the back side. Very easy process. And I also have a piece of contact paper that will fit this. So I am going to go ahead and take the contact paper off of its backing. I have the contact paper laid out on my desk and I am going to place it down so that the polka dot side is the side that I want facing me. Then I'll just flip this over, smooth everything out, and then I'll use my scissors, or you can place yours in a trimmer, whichever one you feel most comfortable with, and I am simply going to trim off the excess um, contact paper from all four sides of my project. All right, so once I have trimmed away all of the excess contact paper, I am going to place my paper in my scoreboard on the 11 inch side and score at three and at eight. Then I'm going to rotate it to the seven and a half inch side, score at one, rotate it to the opposite seven and a half inch side and score at one again. And then we are going to fold and burnish all of our scores. So once we have the scores folded and burnished, I am placing double-sided tape on my two flaps. You can use glue if you want, but since we're covering such a large area and we're working with very thin copier paper, um, I would not use glue because it might just cause your paper to warp a little bit. So I have already removed the tape and you can see that I've got tape right up against my score line and then on the edge. And now all I need to do is take my one inch fold on both sides and put it down. And then I'll use my bone folder to get it nice and stuck. And this just gives the wallet a nice little finish on the inside. Okay, so once you have your edges folded over, you'll have something that looks like this. Now you want to go back and simply reinforce the fold of your flaps. So then I'll use my scoreboard again, and I have my eight by two inch piece, and I am going to score that at one fold it in half and then I'll crease my score 
And this is the bottom of our wallet. The wider flap is your bottom and the smaller one is the top that'll come over. So what I want to do at this point is simply place a decorative piece on the front of the outer flap. And I am going to do that using glue. So I am just going to place a little bit of glue and then I will get it stuck down. And use my bone folder to help everything stick. Okay, so once I have a nice stick, I will use my scissors and trim off the excess paper. So now I'm going to place my snap on the wallet. And here are the snaps that I'm using. I don't know the name of them, but um, this is a pack that I bought when I first started on YouTube, as a matter of fact. Um, I used them with my very first project, my loaded envelope. But I have used a lot of the red and the white, so I know I need to get some more of those, but these are actually very handy to use and I really do want to start using them more because if you have these and you're going through thin material, they work perfect for that. So I'll leave a link in the description box because these are not hard to use at all and you'll see as I go through the process just how easy it is. And it's one of those things that's great to have. You might not use it all the time, but it actually adds a very nice finish to your project. So the way that we do it is I am going to fold this and then I am going to come in with my piercer and just punch a hole where I want the snap to go. And I'm not punching a big hole. I'm punching a hole that's just um, wide enough for me to put my snap through. So now I have a hole here and I have a matching hole here. So the way that it works is we're going to take one of our plastic little thumbtacks, that's exactly what it looks like, and we're going to punch it through the hole that we made. And it'll look like that. So then we have a piece that is, it has a flat back on it and has some little holes going all the way around. And then you've got a little protruding piece I don't know if y'all can see how that's made, but it sticks up. That's what's going to tuck down inside. So we place that down on top of the thumbtack point. And then all we do is we use our little metal tool here. And you've got this piece, which has a soft rubber part on it. And then you've got this flat piece here. When you put it in on top of this, you squeeze down so now that thumbtack that was once pointy has now been flattened out inside of that groove so that we now have a little button on the front of our wallet that isn't going anywhere. So then we take the other piece and it's very important that when you put your second piece down, you need to put the thumbtack part on the inside. So now we've got the thumbtack point pointing out of our little wallet here. And then we're going to have another piece that has a hole in it, but this time it's got a deep impression on the front and a nice smooth roundness, and then the back side of it protrudes out. So I'm going to put that down and I'll put it down with that nice rounded edge being on top. And then we just repeat the process. And then once you have your bottom snap on, the piece that was protruding out here now goes into the well of this part and we get a snap. And so now we have a nice little button snap on our wallet. And now we need to open it up because we need to put the sides in to close it. All right guys, so to make our sides, we need our piece that measures two by three and a quarter. And on the two inch side, we are going to score at half an inch all the way across. So that'll be half an inch, one and one and a half. And the first thing that we're going to do is take it and fold it in half. And then we'll take the two pieces on the outside and fold them towards the outside. And you'll have this. And so what we're going to do with these is we're going to take them and place them inside of the wallet. So when you place them in, make sure that you place them in so that these outer flaps are facing outward. And I'll show you what I mean. So when we put it in, and if you were to look at this from the top, you would see that our outside flaps are like this, and we have that nice little V on the inside. 
So I am going to use my glue, place glue on one of my outer flaps. So I'll take my piece and I'm going to place it down on my three and a half inch side and I am going to place it right next to the score mark and right at the edge of the wallet. So because we have this on contact paper, we actually have a little bit of wiggle room to be able to maneuver it into place. So once we have the first one down, we'll go ahead and do the second one. So all I'm doing is placing glue on that outer flap. Then I'll take the outer flap, place it down with the outer edge of that flap facing me. And I'll get this stuck down. And putting this in just makes it a little bit more flexible for your wallet to be opened. And then I will use my bone folder and get these pieces a little more flattened. And now I can take my glue, place it on the other flap, and I am going to go ahead and glue both of these at once. And then I'll bring this up, and this will be a little bit tricky, but I'm just going to bring it up on one end, and then I'll come over to the other side, use my finger, just kind of push that down to where it needs to be. And then I can lay it down and just start working my little pocket here into place. And when we're finished, you can see that we've got a really sweet little gift wallet that when opened, can house money, a little greeting card, a gift card, and now we've got this fantastic little wallet. And then I have these sweet sentiment sheets that I pulled from one of my Anna Griffin card kits. And I'm just going to take this one that says birthday wishes. I put Mother's Day on the other one. I'll put birthday wishes on this and just smooth that down. And now you can see that we have another awesome little gift wallet that we could gift to a family member, a friend, whomever. And I am going to bring in the second one so you guys can see just how cute these are, just how easy they are to make, and then how well coordinated they are with our paper bag. So what we've done, not only with the note cards in the bag, but now the wallets in the bag, we are coordinating gift sets. So we're taking something as plain as copier paper and making beautiful gift sets that we can whip up in no time. And so when you have someone drop by your house and you need something for them in a hurry, excuse yourself for a few minutes, run, print a design, whip up a bag, whip up a wallet, and voila, you've got a gift. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this project because I have enjoyed this series. I have enjoyed making these gift card wallets. I've enjoyed all of it. So if you too have enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. Y'all, stay safe out there. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.